Hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. I got two voltmeters that I just got in and I think they're pretty cool. I actually have them on me right now. I don't know if you guys noticed them or not. So let me show you something. Now what are these? These are multimeters. Crazy, right? So here we have the smart pen type multimeter, which is going to be the ST120, which is basically a multimeter that has a lead built in and you connect one at the bottom and you can use it um, as a multimeter. Now this one does a few things. It obviously checks uh, voltage and if we cycle through we can do AC and DC voltage. We can do ohms, continuity, test diodes. We can check for hertz, microfarads, uh, live voltage which is going to be when you put the meter into like an outlet or touching something it'll just just tell you if it's live or not with one lead and then they do have a phase sequence checker which I'll get into that uh, later because I'm not a hundred percent sure how to work how that works yet uh, it does have a flashlight also so this one has a light on the lead tip And man, if you want to get compact, this is as compact as you can get. So like I said, basically you have uh, the meter, which is one lead basically, and uh, the other one. So then that's your voltmeter setup. This was going to go into the tool pouch that I have for quick uh, contactor swaps, thermostat swaps, things like that. And uh, it does give you the, the cap for the lead here, which I would recommend if you get this not to lose it because you don't want to poke holes through your pocket or anything because I can see this as something that you throw in your pocket and go in and check uh, voltage real quick without having to bring out everything for some like simple calls so that's how I roll it up and like I said it I can toss it into a bag and that's crazy because I have a bunch of multi tools in here and then this completes the, the tool bag because it has a meter. When I just need to check voltage, just need to check maybe microfarads, you know, I'm not doing a full system check with this. Anyway, I'm going in to check a contactor, uh, maybe do some wiring repair, and maybe ch change out a thermostat, a, a temp control, something like that. So let's say I already got the troubleshooting out of the way because this is not a troubleshooting bag whatsoever. I can go back in there uh, with this hooked onto my belt and get in and out real quick without carrying a big tool bag or anything. So that's awesome. And then what we have here is gonna be another multimeter by them. Slightly bigger, but it can do a little more. So this is going to be their multifunction voltage tester. And this one is the ST100. Now this one here is probably my favorite of the two because it does a little bit more. Uh, this one at the end is going to be a non-contact uh, tester. So you can point it and see if, it's, if it'll, something's live or not without having to hook up a lead or anything so it has a voltage tester there some cool little lights uh, light up with when that goes off you do need two leads for this one but again not a big deal like this one I'm gonna carry with me in the front where I drive 
grab and go if I need to go check something real quick. Because I do carry like an all-in-one with me. If I just need to get down like for a few minutes. Or if I need to go back, let's say I went to go get a part. I did all my troubleshooting already. And I just need to swap out uh, control or uh, fix a wire or something. Something super simple. So this one has that, that auto function also. And I did show uh, another meter from them. It was like a phone style meter, which I thought was cool too, but like this is way more compact. And I think, I thought this was cool. When they came out with these, before they came out with these, I told them like, I'm super excited for those. Let me know when they come out. I like, I wanted them right away. So we have an auto function that if you go, it'll automatically check if it's DC, AC, uh, continuity, stuff like that. You don't have to pick it, but you can change the function and you can check Hertz, uh, diodes, microfarads, volts, AC, DC. This one also has that live function where you can stick it onto a live wire or in an outlet to see if it's, if it's live or not. You do need at least one lead for that. Uh, this one also has a phase um, sequence checker. Like I said, I'll check into that. Non-contact voltage, like I said. And then we get back to the auto. Uh, this one also has a flashlight at the end if you need that. It's going to be a little spotlight, not super bright. Uh, one thing I will say about these is it's going to have the same display as the other meter that I showed a few weeks ago. Um, where it has a black LCD basically with the white letters. It's a little hard to see in the daylight when you're outside. So that is one thing. Uh, if you're outside 100% of the time, that keep that in mind. Uh, inside it looks amazing. It's a very clear display and it's not unusable. You can see it in the sun. It's just, it's, it gets very hard if you have direct sunlight on it. Um, so like the sun's hitting it, you might want to turn and look at it, but other than that, it's awesome. Like I've never seen a meter so small that can do so much and actually be useful. So I would roll it up and then just take it with me. You can go in my pocket or whatever. And I got a meter with me that I can check voltage. I can do non-contact voltage. I can check capacitors. I can even check Hertz and um, just a few things that a basic meter needs to do. So like I said with the other one, uh, the cell phone type one, this is not an all-in-one meter because we do need amperage and a few other things. But this is a awesome grab and go and it's just a voltmeter. Just think about it like that. It's a voltmeter. You need to go check voltage. You want to know if something's live or not, and you want to do a continuity check, wire repair, anything small. This does basically everything I would need it to, except when I'm checking compressors or motors. But for that, I have my big bag. I'm doing troubleshooting. I'm doing an install, something like that. I have that meter that I need in that bag. This is a backup meter, and I will say... The cell phone type meter is cool and all. That one's around 40 bucks. These meters, these two that I have right here, they run about $20. So if you are just somebody that's checking basic things, you're starting out in the field, you don't want to grab a $200, $300 meter and up because that's on the cheap end. Grab a $20 voltmeter that will just help you check outlets, check wiring, see if you have power or not. And uh, you can start out with 20 bucks. I think I have the perfect scenario for these meters. I got a call that I need to just come and change out a thermostat. So I'm gonna grab an all-in-one. This is one that I just keep up here in the cabin in case I need to go down and just change something real quick, like a thermostat. And 
think we're gonna take, this is probably the one I'm, I'm gonna keep up here since it does the non-contact voltage. So let's take this down, check our voltage, make sure that the old thermostat is like dead, dead. And then uh, pop in a new one. And this is all I really have to take down with me. I can put it in my po side pocket of my pants and I won't have to bring down a whole tool bag. All right, so there it's on auto. So we have our meter there. I'm just checking voltage up here. See how we're doing before I slap on a new thermostat. So we got 235, 232, and 235. Then I just want to check the low voltage side. There we go. 26 volts. So everything is fine up here. That thermostat is just blown out. Those uh, pros are notorious for that, at least here, because Every time I see them, they just are with blank screens. And if you're curious about the other style, this is the one that has the lead already built in. So we go on the contactor, like so. And we have uh, 234 volts. And they're very uh, similar in size, just this one, you don't need the extra lead because it's built in, that's kind of cool. Or this one, I like the non-contact voltage function. So that's kind of cool. The lights are, are really cool too. So let's get this closed up and back down inside. All right, so I was playing around with it a little bit. Well, I accidentally touched something. It's the phase sequence tester. So let's reset that. So we're gonna go here, beeps, beeps again. Tells you that it's, it's basically, basically gonna tell you, is it right to left three phase or left to right? So then if we go again, That's left. So it tells you the order. Not sure if I'll use that feature, but it's there. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I'm a, I'm all for new tech. I love when cool stuff like this comes out. So I got two voltmeters right here in my hand, pen style. And I think it's, it's super cool, 20 bucks. Like this is some cool tech at least. So I'd highly recommend them. Like I said, as a, a backup meter or a quick grab and go meter for $20, it can either be the meter you start with, or it can be the meter that you have as a backup. It's not a bad deal. Um, I'm not saying that this replaces your all in one amp clamp meter or anything like that. This is just a cool piece of technology that I got two meters in the palm of my hand without any effort. So please like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I'll leave links to these in the bottom. Uh, they sell them on Amazon. Thank you, Kowitz, for sending these out for me to test. And I think they're great. You guys are doing good stuff. So, see you guys.